pretty soon to start, start, start talking about bowl games, five wins. Shoot, um, he's got to – you know, we knew we knew going into the year that you know getting six was our goal, and that still is our goal. Um, it's going to be, you know, a six one is probably going to be the toughest one just because um, you got three games left. We just got to get one, but um, you know we think we can win all those games. Um, it's going to take one week at a time, and I mean, yeah, I mean we talk about it on a daily basis. So I mean, you guys can talk as much as you want about it. Colton, coach mentioned this, but what was it like to be on this side of a score? Yeah, like that. Cause you've been on the opposite yeah, side a for couple sure. of times in your career. <laughs> yeah, um, when we were standing in the boneyard at the end of the game. Uh, Coach Houston came up to me and said good game and all that. And I was like, you know, our program has changed a lot since my freshman year. Because my freshman year we went to Philly and we were the team that, I mean, the first quarter was done. And um, to be in Dowdy tonight um, and, you know, to, to have that score, to not play the whole fourth quarter, um, it's, it's a super blessing just to be a part of this program changing. Um, it's definitely something I'll cherish forever. And these seniors will cherish forever. I mean, it's definitely something that, you know, we're proud of. And we just go, we got a lot of work to do, but, um, you know, it's cool to be in the moment too, so. Oh, how has the Boneyard, the students, how have they impacted you? And coming off last year where there weren't many fans in the stands and now to see Downey back at 40, 50, how does that impact you and the team? Yeah, it impacts us a lot. Um, anytime, you know, the student section's rocking, it's going to be hard to beat us. I've said that um, my whole career here, especially, you know, all of Dowdy too. Um, I think, you know, we got the best home field advantage in our conference. Um, my roommate, Aaron Jarman, came from Temple, and I was just asking him, you know, like, what do other teams think when they come in here? And he's like, they, they don't think it's anything like anything else in our conference. Um, you know, it's like an SEC environment, and especially when that place is rocking. I mean, today was cold and rainy and stuff, so – but, I mean, they still got loud, and, you know, home field advantage in Dowdy is special. So, I'm excited to play Cincy here. Um, just got to take it one week at a time, but that will be a fun game. You had four touchdowns today. Uh, talk about what was working well for you guys offensively overall. Yeah, I think the whole – and, you know, it starts with the run game. You know, I, don't, I haven't seen the stats yet. I don't know how much we ran, ran for, but it starts with the guys up front being physical. Um, and then, I mean, the pass game will open up, the play action game will open up, um, and that's what happened tonight. Um, I mean, two of the touchdowns were play action passes that we set up. You know, pretty early on with with uh, jet sweep runs, and then the third one, the line gave me about five seconds to throw the ball. So I mean, with the guys that we have, we have that much time. We're gonna you know be pretty successful. So it starts with the guys up front, and then the guys just catch the ball too. Ryan made a heck of a catch there on the wheel. Um, that win was was pretty rough there in the second quarter. So he made a really good catch. The tight end involvement today is that something you kind of figured going to the game would be there, or is it just something that developed throughout the game? It's just part of our offense. I um, mean, you know, I've said it for a while that, I mean, everyone's going to have their day in this offense. You know I mean? We have so many guys, and I haven't looked at the stats. I'm not a big stat guy, but I'm sure if you look at the catches and the yards and all that, it's pretty, you know, evenly spread just because the guys that we have in this offense and the way it, it kind of runs um, is just, you know, go through your reads and get the guy, the ball who is, is open on the read. Um, and those guys have just done a tremendous job of working hard. They catch extremely well, and then they block extremely well, too. CJ had, I mean, a hell of a catch. Yeah. Uh, what, what was kind of going through your mind on that play after you saw he came down with the ball? Yeah, um, we got him jump off sides. It was a free play. Um, it was going to throw it deep. Uh, check Audie's side first. Audie and Sneed. Audie's corner bailed. Um, I had enough time to go right. CJ didn't have much room, so I just tried to, you know, give him something. He caused an interference or something since it was a free play, and he made a heck of a catch. You know, I've – been with CJ for a long time, and that was one of the you know, one of the top ones I've seen him make. You guys push the ball down the field more today. It seems like you have in the past. Is that something you guys saw on film and thought you could do, or it just kind of happened? Yeah, I mean, it is. It all starts with film. Um, really, any play we run, um, we think it'd be successful from that. But I mean, we got guys that can push the ball down the field. Um, you know, like I said, the wind was all over the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, you throw one ball, it go right. The next ball, it go left. So. Um, you know, some of them we could have hit probably, but it was good. It was good. You know, push the ball down the field. We hope to continue to do that. How much confidence does seeing your defense play that way give you guys on offense? A lot. Um, <laughs> I mean, we could have scored one touchdown and one today. That's pretty sweet, um, if you ask me. Um, prefer to score more, but yeah, you know, I mean, those guys are balling. They've been balling all year. I mean, they're they're hard workers. Coach Harrell's got those guys rolling. We we knew it was you know I mean, it was a matter of time before. You know they started playing the way they have, so super proud of them. Um, a lot of those guys came in with me. It's just it's cool to see them be successful. Um, long run, getting up blocking. Heck yeah. Some choice words from your head coach about making sure you don't get injured, but you know what's your mindset on leading the charge on that run? Yeah, it's helping my team, man. Um, you know I'll always do whatever I have to do to help this team win. Um, in that aspect, just score. 
Um, like we said, you know, Keaton, anytime Keaton touches the ball, he can score. So, I mean, I knew that that was the one guy in his way. So, anything I can do to help the team win. You were leading him down the field. So, what does that say about your defense? <laughs> I, that's why I told him on the sideline. I'm just as fast as Keaton, I guess. So, maybe a little bit faster.